Major John Madden in the Las Trancas Business District outside of Arapa, Mexico, up in the mountains. The Oxo Station, where I've spent a lot of time. I want to make a toast to the little people of Mexico. Here's my toast. Not Irish coffee at this point, or Mexican coffee. I do sometimes put tequila in it. Plus, all the Mexican people who ride the bus everywhere, everywhere, or take taxis, zillions of taxis, or carry things on their shoulders, big loads. The guys in Mexico carry big loads on their shoulders, or deliver stuff on their motorcycles or motor scooters, which are everywhere. Big loads, sometimes very wide loads. They're extremely skillful on those motorcycles. Four people, four, four big people got out of that little taxi. I've seen six or eight if there's a baby. The little people of Mexico who dote on their children, the most affectionate parents I've seen, the redheads of Mexico, I don't think there's a lot of natural ones. The gorgeous women of Mexico, and I can say that in front of her because she only speaks Spanish, as almost everybody in this part of Mexico does. So I can get away with a lot. Some of them are genuinely little. Some of them are genuinely quite little. I think that's indigenous blood, still. I think the Guatemalan family that lived with me in the 90s, 80s, in Chicago, refugees. This is the city bus, city bus, nine pesos, less than a penny. Lot the, and the little tiny Volkswagens right on time. So many people in Mexico do not own cars. It's a much more, much more ecological system. And the taxis and the buses are super cheap. Taxi drivers work really hard for very little fare. And here's a regional bus, ATV. Real easy to get around on the bus. Not easy to get on if there's no seats. Not easy to hold on, but I've gotten pretty good at it. This bus, what's this bus? The yellow bus, I don't even know what bus that is. The private vans that get people around, usually company workers taking good care of their people. The big expensive trucks and the old beaters. In Jalapa here where there's money, there's more expensive cars and trucks. The women who wear Durazno, peach, or pink, which very seldom guys do, but it's, it seems like it's on almost every woman, at least in a purse or shoes or something. The little tiny pickup trucks, which you don't see in Tejas, no, no, no. They don't like little trucks in Tejas. Volkswagen trucks, Volkswagen pickup trucks. I had never seen that before getting down to Mexico. The little people, scratching out a living, happy. Happy I've been staying in the barrio, which is way up on the hill in the Moctezuma Colonia. Poor people, little tiny concrete apartments. Most everything's concrete down here, built to last, except once it goes to hell. It, they're repairing a lot. They're repairing a lot of roads. There's concrete work going on everywhere. If you're in concrete, you got a lot of work to do. But the sidewalks are so broken down that you have to really watch. It's a mindfulness exercise just to walk down the street. Most cities in Mexico. They're my people. They're my people. I grew up working class in Chicago, Irish working class. 
went off to college, the first generation of my family to go to college, my parents made sacrifices for that. Got a PhD, worked in big companies, worked in AT&T for four years, that's the city bus, the taxi, and guy running down the street. The myth of the lazy Mexican, forget that, they worked super hard, super hard. Walk down the street, talking on the telephone, especially in big cities like this. 600,000 in the, I think more than that, in the Jalapa regional area. They love their music, sing, sing, sing. Oh my God, the women especially, but the guys too. Singing along with so many of the songs they know. And if they don't dance themselves, which lots do, certainly way more than middle class Americans, they don't dance themselves, they love it when other people do. They never look askance at you. I've been thrown out of movie theaters in the U.S. for standing in the back dancing at a movie that was all music. There's that Durazno peach. And it's fine to ask somebody else for the time if you don't know them. In the city here, they don't greet everybody like smaller towns in Mexico. See how many buses? I want to toast the people of Mexico, they're my people. People who work in convenience stores. This store, one of their central workers doesn't speak hardly at all. And her fingers are all gnarled. So there's a limitation on what she can do with her hands. But she's part of the team. She's loved, accepted. Mexico. Nine months here, probably not ever gonna leave for lots of reasons. I'm a long ways from the border and going much further from the border out to the Riviera Maya, the island of uh, Cozumel where I have a friend. And I'm illegal, I'm illegal. I slipped across the border. I spent a year in Sur de Tejas checking out all the border towns along the Rio Grande Valley. Finally slipped across, the guy said, you're just going for two hours? Yeah, just two hours. I just want to say I've been to Mexico. I already had been several times. And then you're coming back to Westlaco, Tejas, Texas, they'd say at the border, where you're a winter Texan and you've got a little house down there. Yeah, just want to get across. Oh, go. Go, but don't try to cross again until you get your tags fixed. I didn't tell him I can't get them fixed without going back to North Carolina, which I'm not going to do. I miss places in the U.S. Some of them a lot. Asheville, North Carolina, my city, Chicago, my home, Nuevo, Nueva Orleans, New Orleans, which I adore. Not Louisville, Kentucky, that's a pit. Corrupt, old, corrupt. Feds are on those police for good reason. But even there, because I have such background with black people, I used to brag to my friends back in Chicago, I can take a 40 or 50 year old Louisville black woman in 45 seconds from, yeah, what do you want, honky? to, ah, you're so crazy, have a blessed day. Because they knew I was comfortable with them, I kind of spoke like them when I wanted to. And they knew I loved them. It's not easy loving everybody. It's not, it's excruciating at times, but I wouldn't change it. It's kind of always been my karma. Perry and Gray told me 15 years ago, in reference to my estranged son. It must be hard to have a dad who loves everybody. And I said, Perry, and how'd you know that about me? I didn't even know that about me, but now I do. One last Durazno shirt, pink purse. They do genders way better in Mexico. The women love their men. 
want their men to be strong, fuerte. And the men are not macho. That's long, that's at least a generation ago, probably two. The women are tough. Mexican women, don't mess with the Latina. It's legendary down here. They won't yell, they won't be nasty. They won't be bitchy, sorry girls. They won't, but they will wear you down. They're gonna get their way. We have to unlearn so much what we've been taught about the US, about the Mexico. It's not dangerous, most places, incredibly safe. Nobody has guns, except the cartel, and they're very localized. The men love their children. Oh my God, they're so sweet with their children, so sweet with their esposas, their wives. I see more good monogamous couples in Mexico than ever in the U.S. There's an old truck. So many vehicles on the road that you wouldn't even see anymore in the U.S. There's this little boy with his mom. They touch their kids. They listen to their kids. Oh my God, Mexican parents listen to their kids constantly. And as a result, the kids talk, 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 talk. And the kids in Mexico were never taught to be afraid of strangers. No stranger danger down here. Nice color, huh? Kids are safe walking around. Go down the street, go down the block. It's not a violent country. The excess is what they call male toxicity, masculine, toxic male, whatever they call it in the U.S. You don't see that down here because the men are not cruel. Mostly are not abusive. Very little of that down here. It would be frowned upon because there's really strong several generation connections. That's part of why the kids are so healthy because they have their abuela, grandmother, abuelo, grandfather, their tias, their aunts and tios, uncles. The government has a program because they know a lot of people are trying to leave because it's hard to make a buck here, it's poor. There's a meme online that goes, so it's a little dancing figure and it says, Mexico es mejor. It's better here. For me, it sure is, in almost every way. I can't see that I'm ever going back. I am wanted in a couple of places, Harlingen, Texas, uh, by now Port Isabel, Texas, Asheville, North Carolina, there's a warrant for my arrest. I earned them. All for things I feel good about doing. Look at that truck. Look at the Lord on that truck. Feel good about every step of the way. And I'm still a babe in the woods, learning, learning, learning. Look at that. Hi. Kids make eye contact of all ages. We'll make eye contact with strangers. If they see you're enjoying the way they dance in the store, and they do dance in the stores, the parents feel good about it. The storekeepers feel good about it. They're not harming anything. They just run around the stars. As a result, they're not tense. I could talk. I could talk for a long time, but that's probably enough. Women wear these beautiful blouses. Some with indigenous designs, some with incredible floral designs. Mariposas, the butterflies and the flowers are everywhere in Mexico. Big boats. Oh, look at the color on that car. I love that. I want that car. And there is no peach. Okay, Marjo John Madden. I think this is the Puente de Reunion. Okay, Puente de Reunion. So, every time I stand in this spot, I expect somebody to reunite with me. Might work sometime, huh? It's working a lot. You make amigos everywhere. People love the word. The guys love the word amigo. Love to call you amigo. I've got so many amigos, 
So many men and women who have said to me, if you ever need anything, call me. Here's my WhatsApp number, because so many of them don't have cell phones. So here we are. Where are we starting? Not really.